this stuff literally unopened. We've got crafting tools. Juicy Couture though, this purse right here, this wallet, huh. it's a punch. Cables and stuff are cut, but. Be strong. Be strong. We're back at the pizza unit. We're gonna basically take everything out. Bill came out to help me today. The trick is we've gotta get all the big pieces and get them inside the actual van first. We can basically go through all the small stuff. So we're gonna take all the big things, I'm gonna, we're gonna get this stuff in, and then we're gonna come back. Stay tuned. All right, so for you guys, that was probably like, what, two minutes? If even that, we've been buzzing our ass trying to go through all this stuff, getting all the big things out. Never fun, but you know what? That's why we do this. A little find he, he found out there. Check this little baby out. It's an old Timex watch, but check out the wrist on that thing. What is that supposed to fit? I mean, not even little kids have that wrist anymore. Going through stuff, but that right there was worth the drive out here alone. That right there. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna basically set up a section here. We're gonna get some boxes in place. That's what you guys came here to watch, so. And uh, we're gonna go through some of the stuff. It goes nothing. Yeah, brand new. Laptop charger. That's cool. All different sizes, all the way down. Yeah, should cover every kind of laptop out there. I'm sure yeah. that looks so. up. Yeah. Cords. So a little rug, doctor. What do you think? Fifty, a hundred dollar bill. How much do these go? I mean, I could probably like set up a rental place. <laughs> so when I first started shooting this unit, I talked a little bit about it with Bill. And I told him it was really weird that everything was cut apart and it had like pieces. So <laughs> this is Bill's face right now because he's going through this stuff. <laughs> Anything and, that's got a battery in it is taken apart. Yeah, and the cables are cut. And the cables are cut. And nothing else is done with it. Nothing else is done with it. It just makes absolutely no sense. Now here's what's weird about it, and uh, we were kind of having this conversation jokingly, but not really jokingly. I think they might have made bombs because you know what? They got Wi-Fi receivers, extenders. They've got you know all kinds of little things that just <laughs> weird as hell. Just, everything's apart. Look at this, all apart. absolutely no sense like literally like everywhere you look there's a box batteries more batteries no idea there's a lot of batteries in there yeah it's like they made them all no idea Maybe they really wanted to ride their scooters and they didn't want to wait to charge them. Or they needed some kind of power source for a bomb or some sort. I don't know. It's just weird. Everything. It's like box after box after box. And it's literally, it's like that all across the board. Like there's another one there. And another one there. And one of the boxes in there had it. Right there, that box has stuff apart. It just, it's the weirdest unit. Don't get me wrong. Then you find things that are like this. Still unopened. There is no battery in this. It's a part. Yeah, it's, that's how I keep finding it. Empty shell. It just makes absolutely no sense. I think was it this one? No. That's a blower. Okay, here's the other box. Literally tools galore. 
And this one here, that stuff literally unopened. We got crafting tools. Unopened. I just I don't get it. But then here's the kicker. I gotta do it. Projector. In pieces. <laughs> I don't get it. Hey, I just bit on the unit. I don't have to make reason out of it, right? <clears throat> Alright, so what else we've got here? So now we're gonna basically bring on our Tetris skills. We've got this trailer right here, and we've got all of this to get in this trailer. Now, in addition to the trailer, we got Big Red. And uh, if you didn't see it before, new cast member to the show, Big Red. We used to have shelves, took those off, made some room for a uh, our kind of stuff and a uh, big red yeah look at the rack on it look at that rack on it hey look at the rack. first things first a smart wi-fi switch blu-ray player macbook pro nothing in there all right so crystal growing unicorn that's in there. It's pretty neat. A uh, thermal for like laminating and stuff like that. I mean, the box is a little gone, <laughs> just a little. So if you remember in the last video, we found that stereo, the Bluetooth stereo. I tested it, everything works great in it. I haven't listed it yet because I was kind of hoping that I would find the box. When I sell that actual stereo system without the box, the comps I looked at were in the 40 to $50 range. With the box, they're going for about 95 to 100, just for the damn box. So there's the box. First things first, these right here, they look nasty as hell, don't they? In a restaurant, this is gold. This is what makes you your money. So you can sell these all day, every day. You're not gonna get much, but they literally will sell right off the thing. Then we've got some kind of stereo. We got a box within a box. You know what that sound is? Within a box. Those are weird. It's a really weird tool. Brand new in the box. Literally untouched. It even has a sticker. It's a punch. Cables and stuff are cut, but I'm sure we can get those loose, get those replaced. Definitely test that out. That will, uh, The P600XA, remember that. For some reason, the audio cut out here, and so I'm basically adding audio. That's why the lips are gonna be off to the audio, but what we found here basically was a medicine cabinet. My mother is in need of one, but these particular ones, value-wise, if you were to go buy one in the condition that it's in, you're basically looking at 40 to 100, $120 because it's got the frosted glass. But ultimately, it's going to be basically a keeper. But as you can see, basically, it's in really, really good condition. I don't even think this thing has ever even been hung. Um, I don't think this one's powered. Actually, it is. Let's 
it in and take it apart like every other thing in this unit. It even has spare parts. A drone. Got a camera and everything. That right there is now. These are all day, every day. A heart 20 volt power source inverter. But it plugs into your tool. And some type of motor. See, this plugs into your power tool battery and it converts it into power. It even has the. Uh, Compressor. Plug in the grid, you know. This is a curb TV, I think. Holy shit, it is. It's a curb TV. These were expensive. That one thing. Nobody yeah. liked them. So, nobody bought them. I think we had one for a while. Yeah. So, Samsung. UN 55 NU. Seventy three hundred. There's one more letter. F. So on September sixteenth, one sold for three hundred and fifteen dollars. Then October 11th, one sold for $4.99, pre-owned. So, three, four hundred bucks. Got an iPhone. Ready? Yeah. Nope. But it's got the headphones. Juicy Couture though, this purse right here, this wallet, huh. this wallet is probably a 50 or 100 dollar bill. Yep. Yeah, Juicy Couture is like coach or, you put this on your keychain, and then you can find like your keys if you lose them. Oh. Yeah. Here we go, what is this? A digital capacitor. I think they build bombs, yeah. <laughs> we got a brand new Vivitar cam, still in the box. Brand new flashlight. I think the only thing to took is the batteries. They have like an obsession with batteries. It's like the weirdest unit I think I've ever seen. Alright, so I think we're running out of tape. I think we're, uh, our little drive is a little red like that, but uh, so as you can see, there's still a shitload of stuff left. <laughs> we're almost out of room on the trailer. We're starting to pack the uh, van. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it all. We're gonna try, but I don't think we can. But we're definitely gonna try. Here's more or less where we're at. And I've got literally two minutes and 40 seconds left to film on this drive. But, uh, yeah, you think we're gonna get this done or you think we're gonna have to come back? All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and get this shit wrapped up and then we're gonna do a recap. We're gonna go through some of the stuff at the warehouse so that you guys can see what was in here. We did this filming a little bit differently because of timing, just the whole entire thing, but we're, uh, we got a long way to go, man. All right, stay tuned. We'll be back. So we went through this unit and uh, I'm gonna sit on this right here. But uh, if you remember in the last video, I basically had said that I believe that maybe the ovens were in that unit or the rest of the pizza shop equipment. 
Now, the reason that I believe that, it wasn't just me saying I was hoping that it was gonna be there. Within the unit itself, I found some paperwork that the individuals who owned this unit were being sued by a big supermarket down here that owned the plaza where their particular restaurant was. And as part of that paperwork, it basically stated that they were coming after them for old rent, of course, but also for missing equipment. And so that's why I believed that maybe the equipment was in that unit because it kind of seemed shady, but sadly it wasn't, you know. But I mean, I think overall we did really, really well with this unit. If you look at the first video, right here, not right here, um, and you see where we are with this video, this was definitely a great investment, you know. Would it have been awesome to get the actual ovens or things along those lines? For sure. But I mean, that little blender, invert, blender, whatever the hell, immerse blender, whatever it was called, that sold on eBay without a problem. I think we got over 300 something dollars for it, you know. Overall, amazing unit. Definitely worth the drive. I don't usually drive as far as this particular facility, but overall, I would do it again in a heartbeat. Now, I also mentioned that we are going to do a recap video. I am definitely gonna do that. We've gotten a video and I literally still have all of this to process. So instead of making you wait, I'm gonna get the video out. We're gonna get that loaded up there. We're gonna get that up for you guys to watch. And then I'm gonna go through all this stuff right here. And then I'll do another recap video, which will basically just encompass and close out that particular unit. But uh, this was the pizza unit. Thanks for watching. See you soon.